Good morning ladies and welcome back to another video! Yeah, if you are looking to get yourself a great bang for the buck fishing boat you should continue watching because we're gonna do a review of... The North Silver 585 fish. Yeah, the Team Heimat ride for this season. We love it, we have had some of our best fishing memories ever from this boat. And yeah. yeah, this is our official review of it. Yeah, from the Heimat perspective. So yeah. let's roll it. Let's get this uh, review rolling. Yeah. Boom. All right, Miller. So, yeah, that's what's up in today's video. We're gonna do a very honest uh, review of our wonderful fishing boat. Yeah. I mean, we're not the most technical guys. This is not going to be the most detailed, the most, you know, in-depth specification stuff video. This is going to be true opinions and like more like real life usage when it's good, when it's not good, etc, etc. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, we have been using this boat now for the whole 2019 season and we have been out in it. I, I don't know how many times, but but the whole season. Quite a lot, yeah. yeah. At first we thought about doing this review earlier in the season. We had a lot of questions about it, but we felt like we we needed a season behind us. In yeah, order to exactly. Because now we know what we like about the boat and now we know what we don't like about the boat. So that's why this video is published this late, yeah. not at the beginning of the season. Yeah. And regarding the, all the technical stuff and specifications and stuff, if there's any important feature that we don't mention in, in this video, yeah. just leave a question and we will answer it as good as we can or get someone from North Silver to answer it. For yeah. You. We so, have we probably won't remember everything, but we will uh, tell you all the important stuff about this wonderful Russian fishing machine. Yeah. After all specifications can be read on websites. Yeah, that's I mean. what websites are for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and this is what Team High Water for in YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tell you about great stuff that we like to use. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's just get straight to it. What's yeah. the best thing with this boat? For me, I think the best thing with this boat is the price. Yeah, it's a legit fishing boat. It has yeah. everything you need. It's perfect size. It has very good storage and like... Yeah, there's like literally storage. There, there's like literally almost too much storage because we have <laughs> all these small camera bags. And today, for example, we found a really nice spot and we were like, oh, let's put the drone up. And Pontus was like, where uh, did you put that? Where did you put the drone? drone? And it took me like two minutes to f to find the drone. Yeah. So for so, unstructured guys like us, yeah, or especially you, <laughs> <laughs> it has a little bit too much storage. Yeah, there's yeah. storage all over the boat. <laughs> yeah, but but I mean, I mean, this is my point of view. Every fishing boat on the market is good. There's no such thing as the best fishing boat. No, it's all about to your own personal preferences. Yeah, do you need a small, you know, three meter plastic boat or do you need a big bass boat? I mean, yeah. none of them is better than the other. It all depends. I mean, you can't get a big bass boat into a small pond. You can't use a small plastic thing out in the ocean and make yeah. stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you have price levels and all these different yeah. things. I think we can like straight away say that this boat, as it is without the Mercury back there, is 22,150 euros. Yeah, and that which is, is... I mean, which is plenty of money, but it all comes down to comparing to other brands. Yeah, it's a lot of money, but it's not expensive. It's one of the cheapest boats around. Yeah, and for this size, for these features, for this quality, this has to be one of the cheapest boats. I think we forgot to mention that this boat, North Silver, is a Russian company. Yeah, it's exactly. The, it's the biggest boat manufacturer, boat brand in all of Russia. Yeah, and you can imagine when a brand like that wants to get into the fishing boat industry, it's gonna be a pretty damn badass boat. And that's yeah. exactly what we have here in the 585 model which we have yeah i mean they have the capacity to i mean they produce a lot of boats they know which components which materials are the best yeah. and they can produce a lot of boats and keep costs down and yeah, keep everything exactly. on a nice and entire level and i just want to mention with this we have 115 horsepower mercury on it and it is around 33,000, a little bit depending on which model of the engine you take of course yeah and with this engine what's the top speed pretty much 40 knots so you can outrun most guys out on the water yeah what this boat can do that i think many of these bass boats can't do is go in in rough weather yeah it, it takes the takes the waves really good yeah me uh, and uh, my good friend anton uh, anton fisherman we have been out in like the nastiest weather i've ever been and this boat went completely straight to the waves it's unbelievably good for big waters yeah. we decided to go for the for the 585 model they have 545 525 
but sometimes we like to cross big waters and then we think it's suitable and after a whole season of using it we are highly highly glad that we chose this model yeah i mean for for this style of fishing now we're in the archipelago of Wallan islands for example you fish a lot in small bays you don't want a huge boat inside the base but then to get between the different spots you need to cross big like you uh, open open areas of the yeah Baltic sea. a lot of the time it is like that and for that this 585 model is yeah, I mean, Perfect. if we would have had a smaller version, like uh, one meter short or something, that would maybe be a little bit more discreet inside the base, you know, for these small spots where you go. Like over here, we have a small channel to go in, and like here, we could have used a smaller boat. But yeah. like to go to our next spot over here that we're gonna do later, that's like, okay, you don't want a smaller boat to no, do that. No, you so, don't want that. So for us, this is a perfect size fishing boat. Yeah. One very good thing that we forgot to mention with this size of boat is that we can easily fish four people in this boat. Yeah, like, yeah, that's probably one of the best advantages. Yeah, like we did Battle of Le Brochet with Skarna fishing. Yeah. We fish four guys in this boat. Like, yeah, no problem. Very, super comfortably. Yeah. Everyone could bring a lot of gear and everyone could fish, you know, without any problem whatsoever. Yeah. There's plenty of space. You can probably fish like five, maybe six. But then it starts to get Yeah, then you would need to be skilled. But four yeah. persons, no problem. But I think it's time for us now to give you a good show of the boat. Yeah, show you show the electronics you. and, and yeah. all that stuff. Exactly. So let's do that. Okay, so first and foremost, the pearl, the heart of everything here that gives us all the information we need. The Hummingbird Solix 12, a beast of a sonar. It has side image, it has outer short live, it has, you know, sharp sensor things, super detailed. A very good sonar. The reason we went for Hummingbird is we've always had it. It has never been any problems and, uh, you know, we have had it like all the way from the beginning and we never have found a reason to change that. No, once you get comfortable and familiar with the, with the brand, it's very nice, you know, I, I know these menus by heart and it's uh, very easy to maneuver and change things and you have your custom setups with the different presets and depending on the type of water you're fishing, you can easily change between those uh, different presets, etc. Um, in the front up here, we have another Solix. This is a 10 inch version, slightly smaller. And this is, you know, you always stand here in the front fishing and we've had boats where we haven't had this in the front and it's a little bit pain in the ass. Always have to go back and check the sonar, the depth. We could take away everything, but don't take this yeah. screen here in the front. This is so crucial. And in the front here, we have the Minn Kota Terova. Very precise, you can spot lock, you can go on autopilot through iPilot link, follow depth maps from the sonar, etc. There's a thing called one boat network, which means that all these different units that we have, the trolling motor, these screens, the talon in the back, we're gonna go through that soon as well. But all these devices can talk to each other. We can click here on the screen if we want to spot lock, we can talon down, we can create those depth maps with Auto Shot Live and we can decide to follow a certain depth, for example, the structure on the edge and the trolling motor is gonna do exactly that. So that's just game changing that all these devices can talk to each other. Super, super cool. Uh, let's go back to the Talon. I'm gonna show you that. I'm sure most of you know what this is by now, but it's pretty much an anchor. You have this pole and it will go down all the way into the bottom and then you're anchored down and won't go anywhere. This one is 3.6 meters, I think. So it works in like fairly shallow water and it's very convenient to have. You can just punch it down and it digs down to the bottom and you're gonna stay on that spot very precise. You won't even move one millimeter. Yeah. So it's a, it's a very good thing. Perhaps you can go through the compartments and storage. Yeah, sure. And, uh, yeah, we can change over the camera. Yeah, so this boat is basically all about storage, waterproof storage. And we as camera guys, I mean, we have probably in every small little storage, we have different camera bags. Let's uh, go and have a look in the front. Yeah, see if we find all of them. Yeah. So uh, here in the front, we have uh, three different storages. Here we have some uh, fishing lures oh, and here we have some uh, rain gear if it starts to rain. Some food and stuff. Yeah, and here we have some fish carrying stuff. Yeah. And what I like about these ones is that if we keep some stuff here overnight or if we store them here, we can just easily lock them there and that's really important for us. So usually when we go fast with the boat, we just close it off like this. Ding ding, ding ding. And uh, what this does is also, you know, if you uh, if, if it's a cold day, you can take shelter behind here when you're riding with the boat. So this I wouldn't trade for anything because we like to go a long ways with the with the boat. Yeah, you can put like pike flies here and they won't fly away. Yeah, but like for real though. Yeah. And uh, this glass is tempered glass and that's what all of the expensive American boats have instead of the cheaper version, the acryl. Yeah, some of the cheaper European boats have acryl windows and uh, they're not 
as durable and high no. quality, basically. The fact that they have tempered glass in this price of boat is uh, yeah, really cool. Yeah, it's really cool, it's yeah. really cool. Yeah. But uh, come and join me in the back, dude. I'm gonna let you in again. Oh yeah, thanks. So this is what it looks like. We're sitting, I have to I have to say that we're sitting like really comfortable in these chairs. They're really versatile. You can sit in, in them here, or you can move them, or you can buy extra chairs. Uh, for example, for when you're fishing and you have a sore back, or you have a sore legs, or you're getting old, or whatever, you can have st uh, shares and put them over here. Yeah, and also here in the front. Also there in the chair. front, yeah. That's, uh, we should actually do that. We should do that. Yeah, yeah but we're not that old yet. No. So we're good. We're good. We're good as it is. <laughs> and here we like to keep like all our fishing lures. I, I've never seen it as clean as this. No, it's we always yeah, so, so many lures. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we can probably cut in a picture from that right here. <laughs> so that's that's how it usually looks like. Yeah. But not today. Not for this review. No, exactly. But inside here it looks pretty much like that. I think. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, here is my yeah, fishing licenses and GoPro stuff and coffee and nuts and sun protection. And, and those cheese doodles are like from the spring, man. Yeah, it was from when Skarna was here. Here is my, if there's rain, I have my hat in there. So that's perfect for it. Yeah. This right here is probably the only bad thing we've found of the boat so far. These are really sharp. So if you want to open them with one hand, you can scratch your hands a little yeah. bit. Yeah. There's an easy fix to that, but we it's not like that annoying, but... It's the only thing that the is only thing slightly that's... a bit of annoying. Yeah, exactly. But so. we can just, uh, you know, sharpen that or unsharpen it a little bit. But it's really nice and tidy here. We have Here we usually have our stinger tackle and here we can have some other stuff. Like perch jigs and perch sinkers. Perch jigs and, and sinkers, whatsoever. And here you can put the lures. Moving back. Moving back. We have some rods because we're out fishing, obviously. Yeah, you can show, check out the fishing video from today up here. Yeah, you can. It's a really fun challenge. It was a good day on the water. Yeah. yeah. If you have some uh, friends coming along on the fishing trip, you have uh, shares that you can have right there. Yeah. And uh, that's really good because under here we have all the batteries and stuff that's powering the boat. Yep, and some trash. Right some now. trash right now. And then you just strap it on so that you don't fall on these ones. And yeah. then you have a full hole fishing deck right yeah. here. Yeah. Come on over here, let's yeah. uh, show you some other essentials. Here we have a measuring board, that's really good if you want to, if you catch a big fish and, and you want like, to measure like it. Bauer and Truman. Exactly. Here we have rod compartment number uno. And we don't have much spare rods here today, but instead we have a paddle. Because oh, it's so safe. Uh, yeah, because you're actually legally, uh, uh, you're legally... Uh, obliged. Huh? Legally obliged. Yeah, you're legally... <laughs> you're legally obliged. You're yeah. legally... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, what yeah. I said. Yeah, you're le you legally need to have this one in the boat in case something happens. You never know. And, and this compartment can hold rods up to, is it eight feet, I think? Yeah, up to eight feet, yeah. no problems. And we usually keep four of them in here. Yeah. So we ha can have four eight feet rods down there. And then we just close it off. And on the other side, we have the same. So you can keep all the spare rods in here for the fishing day. And This is where we have the perch rods today, for example. Yeah, exactly. And this is one uh, nice and tidy thing about it, that you can just put a strap here, so that it doesn't bounce around when you go with the boat. Yeah. And I think this rod is 7 foot 10, and you have like... Exactly one feet left, so you can store 9. Yeah, so I, I, I think it's 9 foot then. Yeah, exactly. Another nice thing, this is a Russian net holder. So we keep it like that when we travel with the boat. When we have found a good place where we think that we will need to net some fish, we just put the net like this and over the talon like that. That's why you always see the net over the talon in our fishing videos. Yeah, it won't go anywhere and you always know where it is. You always know where it is. Yeah. But for transportation, that's super, super, super handy. Yeah, like when we're done fishing for the day, for example. Yeah. Yeah, and another storage, I just for forgot about it. Here is where we keep all the pliers. Here we have some hookouts, here we have some coffee cups for the captain. Here we have some more pliers, uh, everything you need basically. Here is where we keep like all the stinger tackle and all the lures that we use on a daily basis. So we can just keep them and when we want to go somewhere, we just close it off. Boom. It's really, I mean, very quick and easily accessible storage. It's not too deep. You don't need to dig around and like go deep and stuff. Yeah, we just open it like here. 
like this. Yeah. And uh, talking about storage, that's nothing new for this video. We have storage under the steering seat, uh, under the steering wheel. Up here, down here, here. Uh, in here, yeah, there we have to keep all the garbage. Yeah, this is like the, the quick garbage place. Exactly. Here we have uh, the live well. When uh, example perch fishing, you can just put it in here to let it rest for a little bit. It actually has a system that it, it controls the temperature and it also adds oxygen into this system. Yep. It's not like only flowing water inside, it's like an advanced thing that I don't even understand. Yeah, but it's exactly. A good one. And to fill the live well, you just press this button right here. Yeah. So it's super easy. When you want it to go out, ding. Yeah, and this is like where you control the boat, like navigation lights and, and all this stuff. Everything, yeah. You have, uh, obviously you have a 12 volt here if you want to charge your phone, if you want to charge a GoPro and become a fishing YouTuber. You can charge a GoPro here. That's a tip of the day if you want to become a fishing YouTuber. You want to have a GoPro up here for example. It's very nice to just have a charger. That's really nice. Uh, also, this is uh, more like human storage. If you, for example, want to take a piss, some, it happens during a fishing day. You can just uh, stand out here and oh, yeah. then nothing will become dirty. Talking about the talon, the second best thing about the talon is that you can hold on to it when you... <laughs> yeah, when you... if it's a rough weather and you want yeah. to, you Whoa. need to take a leak. Whoa. Yeah. yeah that, that, that's nice. Yeah, that's the stuff that other boat reviewers won't say, but like we said, this, an, this is an honest review. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you have one too for your body if you want to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can do it in tandem. <laughs> Like, okay, pause, <laughs> like when we do those challenges and time is very exact, like, yeah. okay, we'll do this for one hour. Yeah, then yeah. we take a leak over here. Yeah. So we unscrew this uh, right here for you guys to see it. But under here, we take this away. Here you see the foam that this whole boat is made of. And that makes it 100% unsinkable and not like Titanic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just had to say that. <laughs> that should like be on the package, like a Titanic and like no Titanic. Yeah, exactly. It will never happen, but if you would go into too rough weathers, it's really nice to know that, okay, whatever happens, this boat won't sink. Yeah, because it's made of foam. Because it's made filled, of foam. Filled and with foam. Yeah, for the more practical use of this boat, you have six of these super high quality rope holders. Like um, attachment yeah, points. Yeah, attachment points. And you have rubber fenders all over this boat. Yeah. So you need to be careful with it, but if you're not, it doesn't matter because this one will take all the punish. So that's super handy. For example, when we are having lunch, uh, we don't want to have the ropes up in the boat all when we're fishing. We just take them out, we put them over here, and we don't even need fenders. This rubber fender will take care of it all. So what do you say? Sit down here and have a cup of coffee and finish off? Yeah, let's do that. We need to go home. Okay, so last things. Yeah, this one is not included in the boat, but remember to always bring a hot cup of coffee when fishing. That can make even the worst of, fi of a fishing day a good day. Yeah. Always some coffee. Yeah, cheers on that, man. Cheers on that. Boom. So another thing that we really like about this boat is that it is the deck is made from birch plywood and not pine plywood, which most of the boats in the US are made from. Yeah, and birch plywood is simply known to be more water resistant, more durable, and just a better material for being on a boat. Yeah, exactly. And another good thing is that all the furniture, the chairs and you know all the stuff is made here in Europe or in the US so it's a very good quality stuff despite the pretty low price. That's really what defines this boat. Extremely good quality for no price at all. Yeah. As far as we know, the best bang for the buck fishing Yeah, boat exactly. There is. I mean, there are better boats if you would like to spend 70, 80,000 on it. Yeah. But I mean, for 33,000 euros, can't find a better one. We haven't tried all the boats in the world, of course. No. No one has. But I think this one is a pretty damn good choice. Yeah, it is. If you're looking so for it. So I think shares for North Silver 585. Boom. Now we need to go home. Yeah, and like we said, we probably forgot all the classic stuff that people mention in boat reviews and stuff that some of you find very important. So head over to their website to find all the specifications or just ask us in the comments and we will make sure they get answered. Yeah, have a good weekend you all. Yeah. And we'll see you guys. And next week we'll be back for more. Yeah, if you want to see this boat in action, you can check out this video or this video. Please subscribe if you like what we do and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, cheers, cheers to that. Mm-hmm.